Sharon here with Down Home Wicks, and um, we're going to get into making some candles and what you need to know to get started making candles. Um, I want to get you through A to Z making candles so that you can do this on your own. Uh, I have a special uh, container here. Uh, we're going to figure out uh, how much wax do you actually need for a container. Now, I picked this container because it's not so straightforward. It's hard to figure out sometimes, you know, how much wax do I need to put in this container. That was one of my first challenges. I always had this extra wax. My thing was just always have an extra container for the wax and what do you do with it all. So I'm going to show you how to figure that out. Wax does not weigh the same as water. Uh, whenever you get containers that say this holds 14 fluid ounces, um, they're talking about water in general. Wax weighs 90% of what water weighs. So I'm gonna show you how to figure that out. And how you're gonna do that is you're gonna take, and I got myself a towel here because I'm a messy person. So if you make a mess when you're making candles, don't worry about it. I've been doing candles for years and I'm not any neater now than what I was from day one. So if you make a mess, no big deal. What you're gonna do now, when this, this jar here, I got, I believe at Walmart, and it says hand wash only. I've used these jars before. And I think the difference is this is painted on and the paint will probably flake off if you put this in the dishwasher. But these at Halloween especially, these sell good for me all year round. So if you put these, but they, if you put these, we're not using them as a drinking cup. But if you put these in the dishwasher, the paint will probably come off. And I don't know, I've never had an issue burning a candle in them. I can tell you that um, I do wick down whenever I use a specialty glass like this. But for now, for the moment, we're going to figure out how much wax goes in here first. So what you're going to do, you're, I'm only, I only put wax up to where the threads start up to here. You always want to leave room for the wick. So I only go up to about here. So we're going to pour water in here up to about there and it's you know you don't have to be exact you just want to be pretty darn close so we poured water into it so now we we don't know what that is so now we're just going to take this water and dump it back out and before you make your candle obviously you're going to make sure that your jar whatever you make your candle in you wipe it out you you should be cleaning out your jars anyway if you buy these. Um, they come with lids on them, but sometimes when you buy containers, there's no lids on them. You want to make sure that you get all the dust and all the crap out of it or stuff. Dust. Um, but this tells me there's approximately two cups. Two cups is 16 ounces. So it holds a little bit more than what I thought it would. But... I don't know, is it Mark 16, 500 milliliters? Let's see, can you see that? Let me stop shaking here for a second. You're supposed to read these at eye level. This holds approximately 16 ounces. So I know that if I take, there's a formula. I wanna make sure, I did check on my uh, table here. There's a formula that if you take the water in ounces, and you multiply that times 0.9, and I'm gonna leave this up. I'm gonna put, I'll put the formula in the description. I also have everything that I'm telling you in my videos, I'm putting on my blog too, on my website, so that you can find everything, you have something to reference. So if you just go to Google and search down home wicks, you'll find it. This is the formula. So I have 16 fluid ounces. I'm gonna take my big handy dandy, big calculator, 16 times 0 0.9 is 14.4. So I know that when I go to weigh, because you're going to use a scale, everything is done by weight when you do candles. That's why it's so confusing. Liquid doesn't mean anything. I know when you pour something in here, you need to know how much liquid goes in here. But everything's done by weight, so it's confusing. So I'm going to take my 16 times... 0.9 and that gives me 14.4 so that's my fluid ounces that is my weight of wax 
to give me fluid ounces because wax is actually lighter than water. So when I go weigh my wax, it's going to weigh 14.4 ounces. That's my mixture. Now here, stick with me. That mixture is a combination of my wax and my fragrance oil. Now, <clears throat> somewhere around a general rule, you're going to use about one ounce um, of fragrance per pound, but it gives you too much. And, that, and that's the general rule. And it gives you a general idea of how much to, to purchase. But when you're, when, when you're making candles, candles are a science. And if you put too much fragrance in it or not, if you put too much fragrance in it, you're going to run into issues. If you don't put enough fragrance in it, nothing bad's going to happen, but you're probably not going to have a candle that smells all that great. So there's also a formula for that mixture for 14.4. I have an example of 14 ounces is approximately just below that line, 14.4. I just rounded it off. So 14, our fragrance load for our soy wax is 10%. So 14 times, or four, excuse me, 14 divided by 1.1. Let me see if I can see it here. 14 divided by 1.1 gives me 12.72 ounces of wax and 1.28 ounces a fragrance. So you need this ratio in order to create a wax fragrance combination. That's the confusing. This is called candle math for us candle makers. And like I said, I'm going to, if you um, want to write this down, I'm going to put, also put it in the description because this is probably the hardest part about candle making. You need this mixture here and then you need to know how much of this mixture you need to put in your container. If you want an 8% fragrance load, which is really still good for a soy wax, this would be 12.96, I already did the math. And then this would be 1.04, I believe it is. So about 13 ounces to one ounce gives you your 14 ounces. So I'm gonna do that math as well. So I've got my 14, 0.4 exact if you want to use exact or round it off would be 14 ounces divided by 1.10 oh, is 12.72 I'm using my computer as a calculator for a 10% load so I need 12.72 in wax and if I take the 14.4 4 minus the 12.72 I get 128 left over for wax. I did that with 14, sorry. I don't want to confuse anybody. That's how you calculate how much mixture you need to get 14 ounces. This is the formula right here. And then that's what goes in this container. It's as simple as that. Don't overthink it. If you have five of these, take this number and multiply it by five and this number and multiply it by five so you know how much fragrance you need, how much wax you need. And then you'll never have anything left over. It doesn't have to be exact. You can round this off to 1.3 you can round this off to 13. It doesn't have to be that exact, but you can't round this off to a pound. That's that you're going too far. So keep that in mind. This You have to figure out how much goes into your container. And then this is for the mixture. And then what your ratio is. And that's it. That's called candle math. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe. We'll move on to the next step. What wick do you use?